Bacterial and viral infections may display similar symptoms, but there are many differences, especially in the diseases they cause. We spoke with Dr. Katherine Andruff at Children's Hospital of Orange County and asked her to talk about infections and their differences. Infections can come in two different varieties in general, uh, both bacterial and viral. In the very young child, viruses are going to be more common to cause upper respiratory tract infections, pneumonia type of infections. However, they could be bacterial as well. Um, in general, the difference is the duration of symptoms, height of fever, um, and the appearance of the child. Sometimes your doctor might be able to identify differences on physical exam. We asked Dr. Andrew how does someone get a viral infection? They're passed by either respiratory, meaning um, someone coughs on you, someone sneezes on you, the passage of saliva or mucus. They can be passed by touching surfaces. Many viruses live on surfaces for a prolonged period of time. And so it's very important to think about that when we talk about how to prevent viral infections. And hand washing can be one of the most potent areas to prevent viral infections from passing to person to person. In order to treat viral infections, once we've decided that that's what's causing the problem, it's mostly supportive care. There are very few viral infections that have antiviral medications available. However, in general, the treatment strategy is supportive. So treating the symptoms of fever or body aches, taking care of runny nose and congestion. In young children, however, it's important to remember that cough suppressants and other cold type of remedies are not recommended under the age of six years of age. In addition, it's very important with all infections to make sure that you maintain good hydration. What are some bacterial infections? Common bacterial infections in children include ear infections, sometimes pneumonia, but a very common one for younger children is also urinary tract infection. In general, treatment for bacterial infections includes antibiotics. Any fever in a very young baby is going to be an important thing to report to your doctor. For the older child, you may wait till the morning. Um, it's important to look at how the child looks. Are they ill appearing? Do they, are they tired, listless, not eating well? Those are other things that are important, whether the infection turns out to be viral or bacterial, that may need some additional medical support. Sometimes history and physical exam is not enough to tell the difference between a viral and bacterial infection. And so you might need to do some blood work um, as well as maybe even some imaging like a chest x-ray to help tell the difference between whether an infection is caused by a virus or a bacteria. Can these infections be prevented? So there are a number of strategies to help prevent infections in general, whether viral or bacterial. Of course, hand washing is one of the most essential components to that prevention strategy. But vaccines become even more important when we talk about young children and very serious disease. Dr. Andrew told us her recommendations for parents to ask their physician when taking their child in with an infection. What is the type of infection? If they say it's viral, ask the type of virus or group of viruses that they're considering and what symptoms should I look out for? How long should this illness last? And when should I call you back? If it's bacterial, what is the treatment course? If the antibiotics are available in liquid, if my child can't take a pill? How long should the symptoms last after starting antibiotics? And then of course, when can he go back to school? So it's important to get your child evaluated and to ask the questions, if you still have them, about what the diagnosis really is.